I'm Gillian Dagan, and I'm the Chief Scientific Officer at ABC Research Laboratories. I found my way to ABC Research Laboratories in the final year of my PhD. I had a friend working at ABC, and she said that they needed help doing some marketing and advertising efforts. And the idea of going somewhere and working 10 to 15 hours a week on marketing efforts to kind of get my mind off of the PhD that was consuming the rest of my life was a really interesting opportunity. Um, so I started at ABC and I worked there for about a year doing marketing and, and advertising and at the conclusion of that by, that, by the time that year had passed, I was actually engaged and my husband had found out he was going to be attending medical school at the University of Florida. So my priorities shifted um, into staying in Gainesville after graduation. Um, I knew that joining ABC Research was going to be a really good fit. I had gotten to know the people there, I liked the culture, I was very impressed with all their service offerings, and I knew that coming on board as a food scientist for them, I could add to their food quality offerings with my expertise. So um, that's the way I joined ABC and the rest is history. About halfway through my undergraduate career, at first I had thought I wanted to go to medical school after finishing undergrad and I was doing all the volunteering that one needs to do to get accepted to medical school and realized that I was kind of holding my breath uh, when I passed people that were coughing in the hospital waiting room. So I decided that maybe being around sick people wasn't exactly my strong suit. Um, I still loved all the biological sciences and I knew I wanted to do something very practical and very applied and we actually had a family friend that was a flavor chemist and even as a child, I always thought what he did was so cool. You know, he made bubblegum flavor or he made cherry flavor. And to a child, it really seemed magical. And knowing, knowing him and then actually finding the food science degree, I realized that I actually could do some of that magic myself. So I changed my major from microbiology to food science and just absolutely fell in love with the field and then continued on to get my PhD after undergraduate degree. I love working at ABC Research because it's very much a family atmosphere. Um, we have a very tight-knit culture and the way I explain it to possible new hires is that we work hard and we play hard. You're going to walk through the lab, you're going to hear music, you're going to hear laughter, you might hear some four-letter words, but it's all in good fun. Um, we're, we're a jovial group, we love to have potlucks, a lot of us like to cook. Um, so we definitely, we definitely jive well on a personal level, um, plus that that high level of professionalism and working as a team to achieve great results. So um, all in all, it's a fun place to work. I would say the ABC research difference is a kind of comprehensive approach to a client's uh, question or concern. So our sales staff are very well educated on food safety and quality. They not only understand the jargon used in the industry, but also regulation, um, specific industry best practices and procedures for the client. And, you know, we're not a behemoth company. We are a small to mid sized company. We have excellent communication among groups between sales and our chemists and our microbiologists and our food scientists. So I really feel like the ABC difference is a comprehensive approach from consultative start. You know, let's talk about your problem, let's see what kind of regulatory compliance you're facing or what kind of requirements you're facing from your buyers. All right, what testing are we going to do to get you in compliance? And then lastly, what's the wrap up after that testing? We want to make sure that we're not just giving back a number, but we're giving our client back you know, actionable data that they can either use to make their own decisions internally or that they can present to a client to either protect their brand or advance their brand in the marketplace. I recently wrote a blog article on why I feed my child conventional uh, and GMO food and I did that because out of a brainstorming session with our sales and marketing teams um, we came up with a number of different blog articles and we thought that that would be an interesting one to address from a very scientific perspective, not from a political perspective, not from um, the perspective of me being a mother first off. Um, so I, I addressed it from a scientific perspective and it, it got some very interesting uh, reactions. I think I probably got um, more pros than cons. 
the cons were primarily from um, other mothers critiquing my parenting and saying, how dare you feed your child that. Um, from people who are very much organic and non-GMO supporters, obviously questioned my sources, my expertise, all of that. Um, and then a lot of the pros were from colleagues of mine that get asked that question on a routine basis. You know, do you buy organic? Do you eat GMO foods? And you know, it's what it's what I consider the old airplane question. When I get on a plane. And the person next to me says, what do you do? Oh, you're a food scientist. I bet you eat all organic. And usually it's that interesting conversation after the fact where I say, no, I don't necessarily eat organic. Um, and and I, it, was, it was a fun blog to do and it was even more fun to see all the response. As far as addressing the people that gave me uh, negative critiques on that blog article and, and the folks that questioned my sources and and the things that I cited in the article, I would just tell them to go ahead and do their own research. You know, go to the USDA website, look at the National Organic Program, and see exactly what, what is expected of an organic grower and of organic vegetables and fruits and, and other foods. Um, I would also ask them to consider, you know, really what are their priorities? Why, why do they think that they need to buy organic? You know, do they think that it's healthier? Okay, research that. Really, really do some of their own um, objective kind of soul searching on the subject and, and really figure out if they're putting their priorities in the right place. My most interesting day at ABC Research, that is a great question. Um, I, I think I'd have to give three different answers. So my first answer, uh, would center around when I get to go visit a client and I get to see their excitement about the product they put out and their process and the pride they have in their company and how we, how our results from ABC really fit into helping them make decisions on an everyday basis. I think that's incredibly rewarding. Secondly, um, I've really enjoyed the couple of times that I've been involved in depositions. Um, as, as a subject area expert, it's interesting for me to go in and the subject may seem very simple to me or very obvious and to, to sit and be deposed by two different you know, legal counsels on opposing sides over something that I think is really, really simple. It's just an interesting day to see how the process works um, and usually it ends up pretty, pretty humorous as well. Um, thirdly, uh, best day at the office as far as just fun and camaraderie, we had a dunk tank and myself and our COO and our CEO all took a ride in the dunk tank. So any of the other employees could take a chance at dunking us and we had an absolute blast. Um, we even have it running on a, on a loop of video that's in our front office and we still even walk by and kind of laugh at ourselves and it was a really, really fun day for all of us. When I'm not rocking the world of food safety, I enjoy playing with my three-year-old daughter and spending time with my husband. We like to go boating, we like to go fishing. I really enjoy running, and everybody in my family, actually both sides of the family, we all love to cook and eat. So it's quite often that you'll find my husband and I in the kitchen together and really trying to involve our daughter as well in cooking and, and eating as a family.